Hello everybody, I know it's been a while, but I'll show you what we're doing. So, gable's here, we've got this, but we've got no gable ladders. So, what we're having to do on this plot is build up the block work and the brick work first, get them at least to the tie so it'll stop the wall going, uh, but then when they put the ladders in, we'll have to build the extra little bit. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Set the line up, what I like to do is bend these straps up to start with. Get them all up. So away from the line. A lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't be bending the straps up. But that's how we do it. So, <laughs> because we haven't got the gable ladders in, we're using a profile. One clamp on the wall, plumb it up. Profile lines are already on. That's ready to go. Pause the camera. So, this is the side we did yesterday. It's a little bit windy. These are ready. We've racked it back ready to take a ladder and we'll just have to put these pieces in after ties are in these have been pinned with a nail now bent back down yeah even though it looks a bit short it's in the that's the line the joiner looks like he's just got a bit of this is and by the way this is aussie oh, these man. couple of courses here they are aussie's first courses not too bad eh and then i went over the top you can see because my joints are full <laughs> Um, yeah, actually. We incorporated a DPC, ready to go over that, and then that soldiers over the top. I'll do the same on the other side. We're going to put another course on here, but like I said, it was windy last night. So what we've done is put a clamp onto the truss, put one over the front of the brickwork that stops your brickwork going forward and backwards when it's wet. But that now pretty solid. Um, while I get that block walk up, block work up over there. Ozzy will load this through with bricks now, ready to go. Uh, the only problem is, all our blues are in there and they're nice and wet for us. You're welcome. But if you can get them put out here and dry, put everything under by... Uh, one thing we don't show you very much, but now it's back into this. Now it's back into this crappy weather. We've got the brick jackets. Get over, see Joe. He'll sort you out with some brick jackets. Perfect for this time of year. I was watching uh, Adam Axe the other day. Got him work. Bricks were soaking wet. Unlucky Adam. Get yourself some brick jackets. Come on, stop being a skinflint. He'll sort you out. So, they're a must at this time of year now. There's nothing worse than picking up wet blocks that become like a, at least a third heavier. They're nice and light. Let's keep them that way. All they need now is them blocks around here, set up bricks and blocks here. I'm gonna get on these, as soon as the blocks are gone, we'll put some stands in the way and we'll get on the brickwork. I'll just transfer them profiles straight over to the brickwork this side. Uh, and jobs are good. And I'll just have to rack it up, same as I have on the other side. So, the only thing left is the middle wall. The middle wall has got the ladder in. But when I say ladder, this is the ladder that attaches your soffits and fascias to. Uh, so that's what we're missing on both ends. But we've done so much of this left in there. We'll go back in there. Ozzy's still got to load it and we've got that to do. Then our new pots are here. Take a look down there. There are our next two slabs. They've been poured concreted yesterday. Uh, we've put some bricks on the first one. That is us now. Um, for the next two months. Up until Christmas. So that's all, that's us sorted up until Christmas. Um, what there is to do after that, I'm not sure. But, have a look down there. Our quick garden wall. We bushed that one off as well. Uh, that's like nearly 11 metres long. <clears throat> 1.8 and a half high. So we boshed that off, that was quite a nice little job. Um, the scaffold's been stripped now, we just need to go across there and get them a few brick ends chucked in the skip. But that didn't get stripped till yesterday morning. It's been a wet one this morning. Half past nine we've come in, we're gonna get at it. We're gonna get some done. Get some money in the bank. See you in a bit. And while you're doing it this way, if you wanna just clamp your level onto your profile, it takes two seconds. Done that the same for the other end as well. Job done. 
no more worrying about if it's plumb, keep picking a level up, it's just there on the side. Right, the gable ladder has gone in after we've uh, racked all this up. So I'll show you exactly what we've got. That is now it. So that's why I racked it up. We've knocked a few bits of it. They'll have to just have a bit of a rejoint. Turn you around. I've got to clean out these few bits now where they've knocked bricks out. And I've got to cut all these in. Uh, but all in all, the line of the brickwork is bang on because I use profiles. Uh, it just doesn't make it good for a bit of a revisit. And I'm getting off the same the other side, but the other ladder still isn't here. We've only got the one. Up on that plot there, got the block work up so high. They need to put another hop. They need to put a, another lift in there because it's too low. And this is what the other side looked like. See? When they put the gable ladder in there, I'll have to brick that in as well. But we're not going any higher with it. Site manager finally put a stop to going any higher. Shouldn't be doing it anyway. It's not the right way of building. Uh, but hopefully, see if we can get a move on today and get most of this done. That's what I need. Can't see it's happening. We'll get we'll get this side. We'll get this side done. We'll get the middle done if the scaffolders have got time later to pick it up. If not, we'll be heading down there. I've got my drawing for it now. It's a pair. There's two bays on the front. I'll pull in the back. I'll probably pull in the back. It's probably worth pulling in the back first. There's uh, well, the two gables actually, because there's big, big doors on that at the back. So yeah, I'll do both gables, corner it down for the bays, do the party walls, get all the meat in first. I think. See if we can get any of that in this week. My missus is due baby on Sunday. Today is Wednesday, so it'd be nice to be able to get this lift boxed off. So no one else has got to jump on it, and then I can go down there. But it's all on everyone else. We'll see what happens, eh? Morning, everybody. Right, I've been off for a while. I haven't been working because I've had a new son. Um, he was born last week. I've had a week off, and now we're back. Uh, I'm back, but Ozzy isn't. Ozzy's uh, having the rest of the week off. I've come in on it's, uh, Thursday today on a new plot. I'll show you this. Bricks are out. How many pack of grit? One, two. We'll have to ferry them down this side. Get them on the back. Got one, two, three. Three packs of thermos in each plot. That's too many. Uh, you only need two packs in these. Two packs is plenty because there's only a gable. The back side is a massive door. So there's only like three blocks that side, three blocks the other side. Then the party wall is all concrete. Is all concrete. So what I'm gonna do is when the forky comes round, I'm gonna get him to get two of these packs out of this plot. Uh he's done the same on the other plot as well, so they can all come out. What bricks are we on? We're on the big bricks. These are all big, so they aren't gonna be fun. Uh Oh, look what they've done. I haven't seen them do that on here before. They've put some covers on the front of these vents to stop them getting mopped up. That's a first. Uh, they've actually been round and cut all the damps uh, for us, which is nice. I've cut all the damps short. Very good. They've done it all the way round. That's the first time they've done that for us as well. This has got a bit of underbuild, well, overbuild on here. Step the trade, step the uh, DPCs down on this corner. We've already got a foot, uh, somebody's already put me a nice uh, section of damp down there. I'll have to get some four inch running around. There's a roll of four inch down here for getting me started. That's good. Maybe Ozzy did that. Don't know. But I'll tell you where I'm going to start. I'm going to start on this side where the underbuild is already in. I can get a profile on there, both ends. That'll be nice for me. It looks like it's leaning, to be fair. I'll get a level on that. 
But that, that looks like it's got a bit of a lean on this way. We'll see. Anyway, uh, there's a bit of mortar on site. How much mortar is there? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's five tubs I can get lean. I might just, uh, I'm not gonna do a full load out. I'm just gonna load out enough bricks for this gable here. And then I'm gonna set up my profiles and get away. I'm just gonna unload all the stuff out my van. Uh, then I'm gonna bosh that in. I've got a meter coming for myself today, so should be all right. Should be all right. Right, get all the stuff out of my van, get going. Don't kill any time. Right, this is the setup. Blocks, 26 in each stack, all the way down. Profiles are on, as you can see. Clamp on the bottom. I like using a dory block instead of a, a line block. Just feel nicer. And then we'll get this in. Now I managed to get uh, nearly a couple hundred blocks done today, but I've got to go up onto the other pike, which isn't mine. It's the other lads, but I've been asked for do it. I don't really want to do it, but uh, it's one of them. The ultimatum is you do it or we know what happens. So I've got to do that tomorrow on my ones. Really, I should have just had the rest of the week off and then it would have been all right. But work is work at the end of the day. I haven't managed to get much footage, uh, but now you know why I haven't been putting videos on. So. From tomorrow, hopefully, I can get some decent footage, get on these cables. It was windy as hell today. I could only do four courses each side of that party wall. Uh, and that's that. So, I'll see you in the next one. Adividerci.